So let's continue with our formatting. So far we have uh, applied different uh, formats to date and time. Uh, now what I want to do is apply cultural formatting. What do we mean by that? So the first thing I'd like to do is create a uh, instance of a culture info. So this, this is the class that we're going to use to format the date and time um, based on culture. Okay, so inside the brackets here, to the constructor, normally we'll pass a uh, language format. Which language do we want the date and time to be displayed in? All right, so EN is for English. So currently we have uh, English anyway. That's not going to make a big difference if we do that. Let's try it. But uh, So once we create this instance, we pass this instance as a second parameter to the origin, to the first formatting. Okay, so I'm just going to pass in the culture. And that should take care of it. If I run this, You're not going to see much change because it's English. If we change this to French, for instance, and run it, I will see the month and day uh, the language changed to French. Okay. Or if we want to go with German, I think it's DE for Deutsche, Deutsch, yeah, so that's how we do in C Sharp. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this in XAML, let's see how we do that in XAML. All right, let me... Uh, Make that right pane large. Let's increase the width. Let's make it even. And that should be right here. Remove this. You should see. All right. So we can go width. To 1.5, one and a half size of the right, uh, the first one, and let's uh, see how we can do that in XAML. Let's actually zoom this in a little more. All right, that's better. Okay, so let's try on. So what I'm going to do first is change the formatting over here to full format. If you remember that F means full date and time. Uh, if you have seen the last video, it's as a pattern. So we get the full date and time. And let's change the culture to something else. I got quite a few samples here, so we can try out one of these. Let's go with this first one over here, EL. I think that's for Greek. Uh, no. We need to say converter culture and set it to EL. As you can see, our format changed right away. Let's do similar things with the other ones. Go 
enjoy the culture. Um, let's see, I have uh, ZH. Let's see what that's. I think that should be Chinese. I believe so. Um, let's write a few more. Let's go Japanese, I believe. Japanese, yeah. And almost same. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Then make us let's change this to something else. How about Korean? There you go. Mm, let's try a few more. Um So it's relatively simple. Ah, that's interesting. I don't know. Here is 2563. Oh, how many days is it? Tidy here. Let's tell you, right? Oh. Okay. Try, try, try on the one. I think yes is for uh, Spanish. Yep. This one too, actually. Now let's try. Uh, Hmm. Some chairs. Okay. Let's go crazy and try a few more. Italian. Yeah, that's right. something fun. Um, Mohawk. That's pretty interesting. Sounds like a rabbit. I think this is in the end. Yep. 
So, there you have it. Um, basically, you can do either from code behind using C Sharp, or you can do it from the Zon surface using uh, XAML syntax. All right. So the choice is yours. Happy coding. Thank you very much.